Just cut something as the truck passes by. Nice. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Review. I'm on the end of the creek. Today I'm testing the Mavlos Plume. Not the casting version. This is the spinning. And I'm casting the usual suspects the best legends it's a four and a half gram lure this rod is rated to eight grams so around the middle of the casting capabilities of this rod the creek is drying up there is no bite on the crank on the on the creek and probably not in here i just want to make a few casts then i will swap for a more conventional lure that you'll be using with this rod uh, low gramage jig head with some tiny soft plastic but I just want to see the capabilities if you want to make this more of a utilitarian rod it's a good caster since this line is a bit suspect, it's a 0.4 uh, PE, so it bites a bit itself on the on the spool, but either way, it have I'm getting good distances on the on the casts, and there's also a bit of crosswind. A bit of a soft tip Fishing is harder than usual Because the transition from <coughs> Fast current uh, high water level to a lower current and low water level is getting destroyed by out of the season cold weather so the fish are not yet feeding like dumbasses and we have rain that just makes the current very very fast and dislocates most of the fish so the creek is not a reliable source of fishing and I cannot yet go inside of the main river because if I want to fish the shades, the fish are not yet that uh, not that year, uh, not yet there. <coughs> they are hiding on these lower points of water, so that's making things harder. It's the second day I came with a plume. I was here on, I think, Monday. Today is when? Uh, Thursday, so... Very, very, very hard conditions to make content. Yeah, you can cast pretty far. I'm not even trying and I'm getting good distances. Now I'll just swap Good sensitivity on this rod I felt something hitting my line Probably a leaf A uh, blade of grass Because they are cutting grass up the creek The other day I had a bite on this lower point but today it's a crap shoot again I saw some barbells passing by they are not interested on my crankbait they are going on the shade of that tree so basically nothing for me and maybe in a couple of minutes I'll have to
change locations. I'll see you guys in a bit. So now I'm throwing what most of you guys will be buying this rod for. It's a 0.7 gram uh, jig head. It's flatted because then it swims a little bit on current. And I put a 1 inch or 2.5 uh, centimeter tanta. But I don't think I'll be lucky today. It's very, very dreadful. Eh, not bad for a first cast with this line. But in here, still too much current to do this type of fishing. I just want to show you what you can expect. So, <clears throat> about 10 meters, you would probably get better distance with a better line. I'll probably, on the foreseeable future, change Ah, crap. Now that I almost broke the tip of my rod on the rocks, I will be throwing this shrimp imitation with shrimp flavor, which is even smaller. So this whole thing should be around 0.3 of a gram. I don't know if the camera will zoom. But let's give it a go, at least trying for the smaller fish to bite. Very, very, very hard conditions and I'll be probably on the next 15 minutes swapping places. <sighs> Not even this is working, a ah, miserable day. And I'm on a new spot. I passed in here with my car the other day and I saw plenty of smaller fish, which is a good thing for this type of presentation that I'm doing right now, which is under 0.5 of a gram and very, very small hooks. But you'll be seeing a lot of this on the channel right now. I'm having a lot of confidence on my skills and I'm not afraid of swapping places if the fishing gets tough. You will be seeing a lot more of fishing on the main river and wading should be starting soon. But I will also be begin to target uh, different species. Uh, the other day I went bass fishing, caught a very very nice bass and I think half a dozen of them. Uh, unfortunately I cannot really use the video, I maybe do some uh, release shorts but cannot really show the full video because it's very very easy to locate spot and we have a lot of doom basses and douchebags in Portugal and probably all the bass would end up fried with rice and beans. At least in here the small fish are nibbling. A bite. It's so noisy today. Let's cut something as the truck passes by. Nice. Whoa, come here. Eh. 
for the day I was having, I cannot complain. Very, very cool guy, just poops in my hand, of course. Nice and healthy with good colors, very, very pretty orange. Let's see if I can make it too. In here the most important part of this type of fishing is the fall. On this small fish they will feed whatever hits their head. But Another one. Ah, missed it. But it's very hard with the wind. There are some bigger ones. But I think I can wait this section of the river. It's already low enough that I can wait. Let's check again the other. You just wait. Very, very, very small presentation. I have flies that weigh less than this. Since on this bit of the video I will stop yapping, like I'm yapping on all this video, that's why it's so lengthy. But it, if you think about it, it makes sense because most of my rods are like 50 euros and this one it's around 100, so it's double the price and I give you double the length of the video. And in here you see me cutting the smallest fish ever this is my pw personal worst i think it's around maybe five centimeter very 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 small fish but i'm really happy because i could feel it and hook it with this rod uh, very very satisfied with this rod as i uh, think you will be seeing on the video why well, i'm always yapping and yapping and yapping about the rod but I will keep you with my commentary. Now I'm swapping for a 0.7 of a gram, the one that I used on the beginning of the video with the same size tanta. Let's see. And I will try to catch some more fish. Catch anything in here, or I'll go to a less spot where I think I can still drift the crankbait. Ah. <sighs> Yes, yes, and I think it's an upgrade. Yeah.
a bit bigger. Also good colors on this guy. This was fast. As I thought, dragging. This one is dragging to the sand and is picking up debris and shove the, the ones on this side. Love that crap. Also a lot of good feel on this rod. I can feel the this one, this 0.7 gram jig head, I can feel it falling from rocks on the water and this is not a good place to feel because you are on a higher position. And I'm moving again. See you guys in a bit. So, a familiar spot, if you saw my first video, you saw me fishing in here, it's the first fish that I caught on BFS, it's also very low, I will try to make something happen. But really nothing happened, other than spotting a couple of bass a bit, little bit upriver, I didn't see even any activity of fish on this levy or near this levy so after this i just packed everything and make the outro for the video even with some technical difficulties because of the fauna why is there a spider on my lens so we reached the end of the session and today the marvelous plume saved my day i was trying starting the day the with cranking i also try cranking on the end of the day right here but i couldn't manage a bite for my life so i went with sub one gram and sub half a gram uh, jig heads with soft plastics with a one inch tanta and with a one centimeter uh, something imitation just a very 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 small plastic uh, under half an inch with a ninf hook and a 0.2 gram jig head amazing amazing stuff this rod managed it with no problems also i caught the smallest fish ever i think even with maggots and number 22 hooks i think it's the smallest one that i ever caught and i could feel everything with this rod so if you are looking for something that manage you lets you fish for anything until 8 grams this might be for you it's also very very light I think it's around 57 grams so I paired it with the Kingdom Tagman which is like 140 something grams so around or under 200 grams for the whole combo very 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 um, balanced and very very sensitive um, Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. This will let you manage catch bigger and smaller fish. Unfortunately, today I couldn't manage any big fish. Hopefully, on the next few trips I'll take with this one, I will manage a bigger fish. But for first impressions and for a very, very hard day, I'm really, really impressed with this one. But until then, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.